Okay guys, it's um, it's about two in the morning, all right? I, uh, I came home, went to bed for a little bit, and then I uh, set my alarm, got up at midnight, watched the movie. This is Can't believe this is happening. I am going to see Rocky IV, Rocky versus Drago, the director's cut right now tonight one night only they're showing it on the big screen i saw the first rocky uh back in 1985 uh opening night packed crowd it was it was uh so packed that they closed out all the other uh movies they pretty much said we're not going to show any other movies tonight we're just showing rocky four on every screen this is back in 1985 to this day the crowd the reaction during the fight between uh, Rocky and Drago, and and, and Stallone st stated this in the recent documentary that I just watched about the making of this movie that I'm going to see. He thinks the fight in uh, Rocky IV is the greatest on-screen fight in movie history, and I I agree with him. And and he's not like a boastful man, and he, he pretty much stated that. But he said it is what it is. The work that I put into that fight, I mean, I can't imagine anybody coming out of that alive. And he almost did it. So, I'm I'm not like I'm shaking right now. Like, I can't I can't believe I'm actually seeing a new version of Rocky IV. And I got a feeling it's going to be very different, guys. We'll talk more once I get to the theater. Okay, very excited. So I'm on my way to Rocky IV. There is literally a car accident. There is a car accident trying to stop me from seeing this movie. I cannot believe this is happening. Cannot believe this. I hope the people in the car accident are okay, though. I do. But if I have to get out of this car and run like Rocky up the mountain and and yell uh, Drago, I'll do it. I'll do it, so I can see this movie. Uh, you, fuck it. I'll I'll do it right now. Let's get. All right, guys. I'm here, ready to go. It's raining a little bit, uh, but man, I'm so excited. Like I was saying before, Stallone put. Like, this wasn't just a quick little director's cut. And I'm sure no director's cut is a quick little director's cut. But man, he spent pretty much the entire 2020 and up to 2021 putting this thing together. And if you watch that documentary, which I can't recommend enough, you'll see all the work that he put into it. So I'm expecting a very different movie. I'm expecting even the score. I'm not expecting them to use the um, Vince DiColi score. Um, that much. I, I, I'm sure they're going to use something like Hearts on Fire will probably be in there. I don't know. I'm curious. I'm curious to say, man, this, I, I don't know. I'm just speculating here, but I'm expecting a different Rocky for it, okay? And, and I'm not fully, like, I might come out of this movie disappointed. That is a possibility because Rocky IV, the, the, the original, holds a near and dear special place to my heart. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. And my mind that movie is perfect and i know that's ridiculous but it's it's a part of my childhood i saw it in the theater when i was 13 and um it it really showed me the power of movies and the effect that they can have on people and that one might be the first one that really just showed me you know how crazy people can get over rocky so i love rocky like i like halloween that's how important this movie is to me so i'll see you guys in a few i'll see you guys in a minute Wow, um, I wish I could tell you that I just saw the movie, but it's an hour later. We had to watch an hour of behind the scenes and then this live thing that they did in Philadelphia where Stallone was giving this interview. I just wanted to see the movie. And so then there was a wait and then all of a sudden the management comes in the theater, lights come on and they say it's a corrupt file. So I'm leaving empty handed. I can't watch the movie i don't know i guess i'll stay up tonight and hopefully at midnight the movie drops i don't know because i want to see the movie but uh really 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 pissed right now this sucks so bad and you know what i came out here wanting to cuss my my local theater up and down but i'm not gonna do that but for some reason i was feeling like this is gonna happen I guarantee you this is gonna happen because I've had situations like this in the past with this particular theater and man, it just pisses me off. So yeah, I guess this will be part of the uh, the journey though, right? So 
I'm gonna go home and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can watch it tonight. I'm gonna try to watch it tonight at midnight. Jesus, I can't believe this shit, man. Okay, guys, it's um, it's about two in the morning. All right, I uh, I came home, went to bed for a little bit, and then I uh, set my alarm, got up at midnight, watched the movie. This is not the better version of Rocky IV at all. A uh, couple good things. I did like the, the Apollo stuff. I liked the. I actually prefer the fight with Apollo because it gave Apollo, Apollo a little bit more weight. Um, I like some of the stuff with Adrian. Um, I've always been a huge fan of the character Adrian Talia Shire, so she gets a few more nice moments in this that made me smile a bit. But overall, man, this is just a testament of how important editing is because the theatrical version of Rocky IV, like I said at the beginning of this video, one of my favorite films ever. This version of Rocky IV, um, yeah, I would probably give it like a, a three out of five rating. Whereas the the, the 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 theatrical cut is definitely like a five out of five for me. It's that great. Um, everything feels kind of disjointed about this. The it doesn't even have like a proper opening. It feels like it just tries to jump into the Apollo stuff, but there's no like flow to it. You know, it doesn't feel like a natural progression. Uh, whereas in the theatrical cut, I think it's perfectly edited. It ties right in with three straight into this movie and everything just makes more sense. And I think you guys will know what I'm talking about when you watch this movie. Um, it just, it, it feels like an experiment that, uh, Stallone wanted to do, um, where he, you, you know how you have like alt takes on your like DVD extra features. This feels like the lesser outtake of a particular scene and and more times than not that's what you get in this uh, it, it almost feels like a hodgepodge the training montages aren't as as good it, I think the things that they cut out of the theatrical version they cut out for a reason and in this version of the movie they put things in there that should not have been in there and you can throw in one scene in a particular sequence and it could throw the balance off it could throw everything off and take away and that ties right into the final fight with with uh, Drago and Rocky there's a couple of decisions that they made in that fight that threw the whole thing off for me you know all the way to the end the editing in the theatrical cut is perfect all the way through everything is there for a reason I don't know if I'll ever watch this version again, to be honest. And this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year when I heard that Stallone wanted to make a new cut. But I guess you should never make a new cut of a movie that's so beloved. you know. And I know there, there are people that um, give Rocky IV a hard time because of the, uh, the 80s feel of it, but it's a product of its time maybe for a reason and maybe it fits in the 80s i mean the whole russian thing was in the 80s so it, it all just kind of works in that era and when you try to pull something from the 80s and put it in this era it doesn't pan out and it doesn't work so yeah my final thoughts on this it's a it's a negatory it, and my battery literally died at the end but yeah final thoughts it's definitely a no uh, bad pacing bad um, choices as far as particular scenes go. Um, some of the scenes are just really throw you off guard. And um, yeah, it, it's a big no for me, for sure. So um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the, uh, it's sad, man. I'm really upset that this is, um, <laughs> this is how this whole thing turned out, but I gotta be honest with you. Yeah, this is not a version I'll ever watch again. So. One man's opinion. There you go, guys. And, and Rocky IV, again, one of my all-time favorite films. It, it's it's a big part of my love for movies. When I was 13 years old, seeing that movie in the theater, I've talked about it um, a few times on the channel. It, it's a very, very important movie to me. Rocky IV is probably as important as Halloween is to me. It's that big of a deal. Stallone is that big of a deal. But uh, this was definitely unnecessary. Definitely not needed. And um, yeah, I'll never watch it again. 